I'm meteorologist Gary Lezak with Weather 2020. In the last couple of weeks, a lot of you may have heard this as well, on social media, from X to Facebook to, to Instagram and others, this concept called sudden stratospheric warming. And it's going to lead to these Arctic blasts, and it's going to turn brutally cold, and there's going to be this major winter change. All that is possible, okay? All that is possible. But is it really sudden stratospheric warming? To my peers and scientists out there in meteorology, let me know what you think. I don't think so. I think it's the exact opposite of what you think. It's not what's going on in the stratosphere that is causing the Arctic air mass. It's what's going on within the troposphere. Let's look at the atmospheric layers. All right, let's take a look at the lowest two layers of the atmosphere. The troposphere is where nearly 100% of weather happens in our experience here on Earth. In the stratosphere, almost no weather happens. It's a very stable layer. So what happens in the troposphere? Let's take a look. The troposphere is near the surface all the way up to nearly 30 or 40,000 feet up in the atmosphere, and that can vary depending on when it's cold or warm. Airplanes, commercial jets fly up near the tropopause, more on that in a second. Stratocumulus clouds near the ground, and then the cumulonimbus cloud that grows in the troposphere. And why does an anvil form on top of the thunderhead, of the thunderstorm? Why does an anvil spread out? Because what happens is a cumulus cloud grows the cumulonimbus into a cumulonimbus cloud. It hits the stable layer of the stratosphere, and it's forced to spread out because it's so stable up here. In the troposphere, the temperature profile it might start out at 20 degrees Celsius or 68 degrees Fahrenheit, 70, 80, 90 degrees even. And it cools as you go up. You go up into the mountains, you know, you have a snow level. It gets colder and colder and colder until we get to the tropopause. Then the stratosphere warms with height. Why is that? Ultraviolet radiation, ultraviolet rays are being absorbed into ozone, and it allows the stratosphere to actually warm up. That's why it's so stable up here. So, what is going on here? As I said, nearly 100% of all weather we experience on Earth happens within the lowest layer of the atmosphere, called the troposphere. Temperatures cool as you go up in elevation. Until you reach about 30 or 40,000 feet, this is the top of the troposphere called the tropopause. The layer above the troposphere is the stratosphere. This is where ultraviolet rays are absorbed, forming ozone, and it causes the temperature to rise. It is a very stable layer. So, you've heard sudden stratospheric warming. I say it is not that. It's sudden stratospheric lowering. Yes, it's getting warmer, but it's already warm up here. What happens... When an Arctic air mass forms across Canada into the Arctic regions, Alaska, north of Hudson Bay up there near the Arctic Circle, the Arctic air masses form in response to what's going on in the troposphere. And when an Arctic air mass forms, the thickness of the layer gets a lot less. So the troposphere drops to maybe 25,000 feet. Maybe it drops by 10,000 feet or 15,000 feet. The stratosphere is pulled down, all right? So it's pulled down by the Arctic air mass forming, not the other way around. And when you have adiabatic warming from sinking air, that'll warm the stratosphere, and the warmer air comes in from higher levels. So what looks like stratospheric warming is sudden stratospheric lowering, and as a result of what's going on below, is what happens up here. So it isn't sudden stratospheric warming, it's sudden stratospheric lowering that is going on, the opposite of what people think. So there you go, there's your little discussion. Let me know what you think about this. Um, of course, that's, that's just a proposal. I would like my scientist peers, meteorologists out there, let me know what you think, think about it. Think about it. The stratosphere is very stable. Very stable layer up there. Is it really causing the Arctic air mass to form? Or is the Arctic air mass forming in response to ridging aloft? All right? 
creating high pressure and it's dark up there. So radiational cooling happens. It's colder and colder and colder. Stratosphere lowers and it looks like strata, sudden stratospheric warming, but it's really sudden stratospheric lowering. I'm meteorologist Gary Lezak. Let me know what you think.